What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Hydraneer. It's back on the channel. It's been a minute. It's a brand new update. The brand new update I believe is 1.6? 1.6? Yeah. What does it add? Well, it adds a bunch of new items into the shop. A whole new area for you to buy electric reactors. Logic gates. They're in the game now along with poor optimization and a truck that can't move over dirt. I know, I know, it should be some sort of priority, but you know, that's just me, that's just me. But we're hopping back into a new season of Hydraneer. We're gonna get designing. Now I have to take water and electricity, put them together and interweave them. I don't know how it's gonna work. It shouldn't work. Like you should never put electricity and water together, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out. Leave a like, leave a comment, any kind of hints, tips, or tricks are greatly appreciated. Mm. Let's go. In our last video that we did in Hydraneer, I made this giant rattlesnake looking base, looking mine. It was looking fine. And then the update kicked and all of the little pieces went through the conveyor belts and it stayed that way until I uninstalled the game and then reinstalled it and then that snake, uh, that snake world vanished. Like it never existed at all. So, I've been working tirelessly since yesterday's update to try and get over to our joint over here and we are rocking and rolling because we need to get ourselves some shads, some shad bass. Oh, 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 oh. I can feel it. I can feel the weight. Oh yeah, that's good. That's is, that's is, that's is, that's is real fancy. Diesel, why don't you have the Goliath drills? Because the Goliath drills suck. They only give you a little bit extra, a little bit more. But then you gotta get it. Uh, yeah, gotta keep them constantly powered. We're gonna have to do something with these. No problem. No problem. In our new series here. But when you get started, it's a little much to kind of deal with. You know, I gotta dig all the way down. Gotta put this at the bottom. You know, I have to redo the dirt. Gotta get bars anyway. We got so many bars. And that thing's rocking and rolling. But with the new update, what does it really bring to the game? Well, let me go ahead and show you. Ah, yes. The golden pickaxe is still here. Diesel designs. I'm in the game, everybody. Just making sure. Felt, would have felt a little slighted. So, in the new update, we have an entirely new store that's been added to our little town. Also, with our quarry, the quarry doesn't have this giant gaping crevasse to try and manage and get up. The truck here is still garbage. This is the worst thing in the entire game. <laughs> Should have like a 1.7 update for a brand new truck, one preferably with shocks. But as you can see, hold on, we passed it. Back it up. There's some things I missed too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I've not seen this. What is this place? What are those? Buy, buy, what am I buying? <gasps> oh, agile wooden carts. Des designed to transport items ag agilely. Li li li. Huh. Guess because the pallets were all kinds of weird and wonky. Okay. I don't need that right now. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. But it may soon be an issue. As you can see, we got some neon going on over here. What? Brand new. Yes, power and logic. We now have electricity. Usually water and electricity do not go well together. I would suggest not uh, putting those two things together, but apparently it can be done. <gasps> new things, new magnets, a reactor. This is where you toss all of your uh, your shards in and this will power your whole base. And then you get all these different kinds of cords and cables going over. I don't know what this is. Flip logic, got logic gates. I hate logic gates. Oh, whoa. Goes kaboom when logic is passed into the explosives. Quick mining. I can see a swath of YouTubers going, we blew up our base. Blew up our base with logic. I can feel it. I've never been one for logic. I've never been, well, as we all know, but as far as like going A to B connectors and or gates, XOR gates, subtract logic, it's ridiculous. This is a logic smelter. So as long as we have some sort of power going to this, this will automatically smelt all of your baths 
in here. It's 17 grand. Everything over here is expansive. Logic spanning hurling unit. What? Huh? See again. Logic durability reader. Durability of the pipes. These though would be pretty wild. I can turn and turn off things at my whim. By controlling some certain things. Logic button outputs a logic value of one. Click symbol to change. This is all beyond me, bro. Like logic reader cable. Now, uh, can I just get can I just get regular cables? There we go. Can I just get normal regular cables. That's what we'll use. And how much how expensive are these things? 84. Really? But also, if you look over here, we have pressure booster, which gives you 100% water pressure drains power. Of course it does. Then we have these, which will go into a logic. It's a straight power valve. Okay, okay. A light power line. Yes, we have more lights. And also, we have filter, power filter, but this has 100%. So instead of having five of these things lined up in a row, you just hook one logic or hook your reactor up to this. And boom, takes care of all five of those jams. I love it. Um, as far as elbow power lines, transports power from reactors. Powered battery stores power from reactors for easy transportation. Power not included on purchase. Like, there's a lot of stuff here, guys. There's a lot of stuff, and I don't quite understand a lot of it. But I do know that we do have some cash, and I left it over here. I think we might just have enough for a reactor, and then I'm going to have to try and build up our cache again. Oh, no. Spent all of it trying to set everything up over here. 22,000? Oh, no, we don't have enough. Well, let's see what we got. Let's see what we can get our hands on here right quick. May not be enough for anything, really. It's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so 22 grand. I mean, just to get one of these is 12K. That's okay. We're gonna be okay. Powered destroyer. Oh, so we can destroy all of our parts here too? <gasps> it grinds everything up. Amazing. So then we don't have to constantly bring it over to our John over here and get ourselves little metal pieces. Like everything just costs so much money. A powered David. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, all right, guess like I'm gonna got to, you know, go make some make some rings or something. Okay, so give me a second here. We're gonna, gonna take a little sleepy sleep. I got two necklaces, a ring, and a giant sword. Got all sorts of doodads, whatnots, hand me down, such and such. Woo! Grab you. We're gonna have plenty of stuff for the reactor once it gets popping. Bang. Ah, sun is shining, the weather is sweet again. Unstuck, we're not technically stuck, but this truck is trash, garbage, in my opinion. All right, let's see what you go to my drink, Craig. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, very close. It looks like the rings are really popping over here, so let's go ahead and grab this. Ring. Excelente. Okay, this is too much. Too close. Too close. I can't see what kind of cash I can get. Nice. 4,300. I'll take it. Bang that out. Everything else is down, you say. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer because now it just looks like I'm just going to have to go find the other one. <laughs> what are the stonks looking like over here, brother? <sighs> Fine. Looks like we'll just have to go and buy a bed. Okay. Next day, I just saw that for the first time. Oh, sweet, swords are up. For 9,000 coin, that's right. That's right. Combined, our power's combined. Boom, oh, come on. Oh, hold on, boop. Good to see optimization's not a key. <laughs> I complain to complain because I love the game. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll hop in. And I kind of like the diesel designs. Stock market. That's where it is. That's what I'm going to call it. Because this thing's a pain in the butt to get through. Still is. Always will be. All right. Where's the diesel stonks? Where's where, where's the diesel upgrade? You know how Aaron has a... Aaron Rogers got the Aaron discount? I get the diesel designs discount. Come on, brother. 24. Whatever. Four grand. We'll take it.
I know, I know. I just need the cash, though, bro. I just need that cash, that cheddar. Pop you there. Pop you there. Boop. And we got 21,000. Beautiful. Fantastic. 21,000 plus 22,000 equals 43,000, and that's math. So let's go ahead and grab this reactor. Boop. Ours. Beautiful. Now, what else do I need? I don't need. I like how this, I like this now, too. This is wild. Powered intake pipe. Now, I have a question. Okay, so this looks like it's just going to be power coils and not so much logic. You know what I'm saying? Like, over here is to turn stuff on and, 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 and connect things and, and move them the way that you need them. Programming, if you're a programmer. Just like, looks like this over here, just, this is power. Power goes into these cords. These cords then power these things. And then maybe we can possibly get a switch. Can we get a switch? Does this require logic, though? Looks like it requires more logic than it actually may work. Okay, so we got plugs going to there. And this actually takes... Of course it takes water to power. I mean, why wouldn't it take water to power? I mean, electricity always needs water to power. Um... <laughs> okay. Alright. We'll take that. Something tells me we're just going to need power. And I want to get one little pressure booster. Oh, that's right. I got to pay for it. I'm thieving. I'm stealing. 12k. We got that all day. Not all day. We're actually getting a little low. It's a little low. A little less work. Um. All right. So straight power connectors. We'll see how this works. We'll see how this how this how this do. Ready, set, and yeehaw! Boop. Well, oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Good thing the truck's been fixed. Nailed it. All right. So we got a couple. Got ourselves a couple problems here, uh, as we normally do. Eh. Oh God. We got all sorts of issues. Okay, so we pop that here, but let's just, for the time being, let's just turn you off. What do you say? What do you say? And let's start putting all of these pieces together. Feeling it's gonna get weird in here. All right. See this. This is what. Brings me back to the good old days of Hydraneer. Just taking a bunch of pieces that we don't need and just tossing them on the ground. Just in case. Now, thank goodness that we have that uh, disposable waste thing when it comes to logic. We'll have to definitely try that out, especially since I buy way too much and uh, we don't use it. So what I got going on here, we got the reactor on top of that little stool over here. We got a T-bar rocking and rolling through here. And we also have these filters. Now, these filters we can change up once we get uh, some more cash. We just gotta, you know, crawl before we walk. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, check it out. We got these two. And I'm only assuming that we're gonna need to have as many filters going into this, because this could break too. So we'll have to fix this. I also have the... Where, where do I put it now? Right here. Got ourselves a little wrench. Pretty lovely. I believe this will put like couplings, if you get too close to, say, a certain area, it'll create little legs. Oh, no. Didn't want to do that. Okay, so, it did, I mean, it, does, it puts little leggings there, but we have to put some more things on top of it. So, basically, what I got going on here, I'm going to put some of these jams. Hello? Thank you. I'm going to put some of these bars into here. We're gonna get some of the bars we have been cooking for a while. I'm gonna drop those like it's hot in there. I like it. Boop. Okay. Oh, it's stuffed, bro. Nice. So, if we turn on the water, this should start getting powered. But if we flip the switch, that'll turn that. We'll start powering this. Hear that little hum? We and then this goes into this, which 100% powers everything. So these only give about 20%. So you need like four or five of these just to get the same output as this one. That's wild. Also, the filters are going to be there as well. You need about four or five of these to get a full 100% filtration system, whereas the electrified one will give you 100% as well. So we got to crawl before we walk here. I'm just kind of... <laughs> 
Just kind of get an idea, getting the gist. Now, also, if we get those Goliath rock and, and rolling the Goliath, we can get the David, the electronic David, and we can attach this to the electronic David and empower it without having to run too many cables down, you know? That's kind of nifty. What kind of output we getting out here? They're crashing. Our machines are crashing. Yes, yes, good, good. Now, the nougats are not going to be gigantic. But still, if you just sit here for five minutes, you could probably snag yourself a steady, steady, like 11 to 15,000-ish, S, give or take, coin. Something's dropping between here, but it's nothing like it was. Absolutely nothing like it was. I was having some serious problems. In the last one, these conveyor belts are rocking and rolling just from that one upgrade. That is wild. Just from the electronic upgrade, and whenever I want to turn it off, we turn it off. Okay, we're getting fat stacks. Getting these giant stonks. Boom. That bar's worth 3K-ish. Esque. Roundabouts. Give or take. I always forget. Uh, let me uh, comment. Uh, <laughs> you know, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. What is this uh, good for again? I forget. I know not what I do. It looks like it's a big giant junk pile bar. It's been a minute since I played this game. Little help. Little help. Little help, guys. We're just getting we're getting tons of them, and I don't know what exactly it is that they do. Seem like they'd be important. I could rock a wiki, but I will not. Oh, yeah, give me those bars. These bars full of, full of power. One man shouldn't have all that power, but our filters here just straight up suck. So if we could find a way to just knock these out and not have to worry about all of these would be amazing. We could probably take a splitter. Hmm. Hmm. We probably have to back this up one. Or we can have a splitter and kind of rock it and roll it around. This way we got a little perch. We could rock it around and kind of do, do all sorts of stupid stuff. Actually, you know what? We can have a splitter that goes right into here. And then we'd have to curl this. Yeah, so this would have to go, because the filter has to go before all of the machines to help so that they don't all go and break down. So I can feel like we can curl this to this pipe and then have a T-pipe go around this way and then have a filter over there. And then we have 100%, 100% everywhere. But I got this thing all sorts of stupid. This layout is whack, and I know it looks whack, but hey, could be worse. That's gonna be, it's gonna be some good, some good grinding right there. Oh yeah, very, very cool. So give me a hot second. I'm gonna try and get at least a couple thousand dollars put together here, and we're gonna try and make our filtration system so we have our power and our pipes all at a hundred percent. Efficiency all right here all nice in a row and how much power have we stored up look at this Who knew that water could give us electricity who knew that water and electricity would go together so well No one knew no one knew you didn't know don't lie to me uh, Good night's rest and a little bit of selling gets us rock and rolling to the top two that we can get at least a start anyway, so Then put this down here been doing a little work here, and I think, I mean, it's not, it's not, spa, it's not fantastic, but it's the basics. So we got a whole bunch of stuff stacked up here in the reactor. I have a logic lever here going into a logic power conduit here, which charges the power stuff, but it doesn't do anything until we pull the lever. And now the power will go and rock and roll. So now we have a conduit that goes from a T-bar over here. Goes to this little power joint, which you could probably make a whole bunch of them just kind of route it off to different power cells. And it goes into this filter, which now has 100%. And now we turn it on. And we should be getting 100% efficiency from the filters and from our powered cell over here from our reactor. It's fantastic. Now we can get some things we can try and test the durability of uh, certain items. 
There are still a bunch of problems that happen when it comes to this game and optimization. So be wary when you're going to be uh, updating this game. It's just they add a whole bunch more stuff. And when you start buying some things, so everything starts moving and grooving the way that it always does here in Hydraineer. It'll really drop your frames down after a period of time. It's almost like there's like a memory leak or something. But all of a sudden, you'll just start seeing everything start getting a little laggy. And once it starts getting a little laggy, you'll start seeing little pieces fall in between these conveyors going into this stuff. Going into the sorters, as you can see here. I know I probably have to get the, uh, the conveyor belt that pushes things more towards the center. But I really shouldn't have to. I think it should just go in. I mean, we can put another conveyor belt over here. Another joint up there. I have this all janky because I just kind of wanted to get it started. So we're going to move all of this stuff over to uh, here. And this way we can have a little conveyor belt because what we can do is we can have auto smelters once we get the money. We get those auto smelters, those electric smelters, and then figure those out and they'll push bars onto a conveyor belt and then we can just sit back, sip on some tea, wine, lemonade, who knows? And just watch those sweet rocks coming in and then all we have to do is just make all the uh, pretty gems and uh, weapons and all the fun stuff sounds fantastic oh oh yeah how about you oh this ugly bar again let me know what these are in the comment section down below i don't want to rock a wiki <laughs> i just don't it's my laziness kicking in poop you down there because, yeah, I mean, it seems like in the, oh, oh, hold on. In the sorter, the conveyor belt is much tinier. So if we get the narrower ones, it'll help out exponentially to have all of those things stomped in there. So it looks like maybe I'm the dummy, which, of course. See, but also things just seem to slide off here. So railings and all sorts of things we're going to be have to put in here. Is it? See, it's, it's, stuff's just falling everywhere. But let me tell you, we are crushing. Conveyor belts are rocking full force. Everything's going up the way that it should. And it's all powered by water and electricity. Who knew? Who knew? I bet y'all did. You're a smart class. I love this thing. Pressed hot gems. Pressed hot gems. Boom. And we're just getting baz as far as the eye can see. So that is going to be something that we are definitely going to have to knock out, rock out in the next episode. But folks, we're back in Hydraineer. I'm going to have to revamp this whole right side over to the left side and make the left side the main side. Left side, right side, worldwide. And start getting these sweet, sweet dollars coming in. Because we're worth it. And then we'll do some little housing and some designs and things of that nature and try to figure out some more logic gates. I'm interested to see where people will take this, how to do different kinds of designs. The engineers in the crowd are going to go wild. I promise you. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some of the channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I'll check you out right here again in Hydraneer next time.